Hey good people, it is Tashire from Politics and Fashion here today with a video that is all about my five tips to instantly enhance your style. And we have been vibing together, kicking together y'all throughout my entire capsule wardrobe series. I am so so appreciative of that. It was almost 200 of you in the premiere chat for my latest video. We're gang gang, okay? And uh, as a result of just the feedback that I have gotten, I asked you all which outfits did you love the best, and I started to see a theme begin to emerge. And so these five tips are going to be for you no matter your style pillar, no matter what is in your closet, what is not in your closet. It really is about enhancing your style based upon what you already have these five tips girl are gonna get you right so if that sounds good to you make sure you are subscribed to the channel you are following me over on Instagram for daily style and self-care inspiration and let's get started Okay, let me just say that I am filming during golden hour and I also have my studio light over here. And so it's probably giving like shadow moody and I don't know what that's giving. But let's just hope it all comes together and does what needs to be done. Okay, because these tips, I got to get them out, girl. I, I do not want to delay as far as filming is concerned. Okay, uh, so let me share with you what I am wearing today before we get started. I am wearing my vintage Chanel earrings. These are, as you can see, clip-ons and they came from what goes around comes around. I have on just a chunky kind of Cuban link chain necklace. I got that from H&M right around the time of Fashion Week in February. Haven't worn it too much. You know, it's costume jewelry from H&M, so I don't expect for it to last too long, but I felt like I needed a chunky necklace with the stud or the uh, clip on earrings since they are very petite compared to the earrings that I usually give okay um I am actually wearing a dress this one is from Jockmas the back is out and it comes probably a little below my knee but I am also almost six feet tall same jewelry typical uh I did just get a pinky ring so I'll show you that uh I just felt like you know coming into 40 I needed a pinky ring I don't know why I was just it was a compulsion that was so strong in my entire body I was just like I need a pinky ring so you know that was spirit and I bought it uh, so let's get into these tips my first tip to instantly enhance your style y'all is to add texture to your look now when I think of a style that is not as interesting to the eye it might be a full cotton look with a pair of leather smooth leather shoes right it might be a full linen look with the same thing a pair of smooth leather shoes and so what it looks like is from head to toe you are wearing one texture because even though the leather and the cotton or the leather and the linen or maybe it's polyester or silk even though those textiles are uh, not the same as a leather shoe they still have a smooth finish to them okay which is why I think it is so important to keep a variety of textiles in your wardrobe and I mean that from handbags to hats to shoes and also your clothing of course so some of my favorite textures to include in my wardrobe you all have seen plenty of times before uh, let me shout out right now my Styland top this one has feathers over the top. We know feathers are trending. They are very popular right now. Yours does not have to be from Styland if you even decide that this is something that you need at all. But I want to give you an example of what something like feathers can give to an otherwise a basic or muted outfit. I wore this top during New York Fashion Week and I wore it all black. All black. Black bra black shorts okay but look at what the fact that I'm wearing this texture did to the look I feel like it instantly elevated it uh, on top of the fact that the feathers are at the neck and so it's also the placement that's very unique but at the end of the day it's an all black outfit it is the texture that gave it something different then I also put on top of it a faux fur coat another texture and then my shoes although they were also black they are a pair of mink mules from Saint Laurent okay 
And these mules, y'all, you saw them over and over again in my style video, my capsule wardrobe video that I recently released and that I mentioned to you all. Because my style is so simplistic, it's elevated simplicity at the end of the day. I love basics with a twist. So one of my favorite outfits, and I think you all's too from that video, is me wearing a Dior beret texture because the beret has holes in it and it also has a veil. A simple white button down. I am wearing a pair of high-waisted black pants and then I put on the mink mules. It is the texture because this outfit would not have gave in the same way if I was not wearing the beret and if I was not wearing those shoes. If I was wearing a pair, for example, just simple black sandals, maybe a nice heel, it still would have been sleek but would amplify it. We're talking about what's going to amplify, what's going to enhance. What amplified it and took it over the top, y'all, was the texture that I added to the outfit. Now, outside of feathers and fur, I also love a good fringe moment. Uh, I, I can be tempted for a good time with the good old sequins moment, okay? Um, and I also love patent leather, y'all. Patent leather shoes especially are my jam. The second you put on those patent leather shoes versus a pair of smooth leather shoes, it takes the outfit from, you all know what I'm about to say, basic to bust down. It looks chic, it looks interesting. And that is my first tip for enhancing your style instantly. My second tip to instantly enhance your style is to pay attention to the proportions of your outfit. Pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. Especially because I feel like when we don't, uh, it can make our outfits look very dated. And so think about it from this perspective very easily. If you were wearing something that is very tight fitting or uh, more close to the body up top, or even if you're wearing something that's cropped so it's shorter, you are going to want to wear something that is looser on the bottom, okay? Vice versa, if you were wearing a pair of skinny jeans, a pair of leggings, if you were wearing a pencil skirt, you're likely going to want to wear something up top that is a bit looser or more oversized. You're, you're going to want to give your outfit some parity or some juxtaposition in that way. If we're wearing a tight top, let's say that is tucked into a pair of skinny jeans, and then we throw on a stiletto heel, it's giving uh, Paris Hilton. You know, it, it, it's very uh, early 2000s and it does not make the outfit look as chic as if we would have done an oversized top, right? It may be a loafer or if we wanted to do a heel, maybe a pair of trousers that stopped at the ankle, right? So giving the eye something to kind of compare and contrast versus everything being the same, 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 same all the way down from top to bottom. And the same rings true if you are wearing pieces that are oversized. Do not get lost in your garments, y'all. We can show our silhouette without it being hypersexual okay those two things are not the same stop it with the oversized clothes from head to toe stop it with the very sleek uh tight silhouette from head to toe give your outfit some juxtaposition that is my second tip and then number three is all about contrast dressing. If you are not new around here, then you know I'm very tempted, similar to Amber Rose and the tattoo that she has prominently uh, placed across her forehead, to do the same thing with the phrase contrast dressing because I feel hold wholeheartedly that it has changed my life and it has given me a new lease on life um, because... I did not recognize that that was what I was doing or I was drawn towards until I heard Lydia Tomlinson say it. And I will link her channel down below. Absolutely, 
absolutely love Lydia. And so once she used that term to describe her style, everything for me just clicked because I then realized that I had an outfit recipe that was in my back pocket whenever I needed it. And so the idea here is to pair something very dressy with something casual, right? Or something very edgy with something very sophisticated. It's to take these two kind of extremes and then pair them together, okay? It gives you edge. It gives you style. Another outfit that you all really loved from the capsule wardrobe video, for example, was the crop top with the blazer. And then when I put it on with the jean shorts, a blazer with jean shorts, who would expect that? And then I put it on with a pair of stilettos. Or when I took that blazer and that crop top and I put it on with a pair of Jordans. My cousin just told me to stop saying Jordans. They're actually called bumblebees. I'm supposed to say bumblebee ones. I'm 40. Okay. <laughs> Jordans. <laughs> anyway, so when I put it on with the bumblebees, uh, again, it took something that from the waist up was meant to be very sophisticated and it brought it down a notch. And that is another reason why I always keep trousers in my collection, y'all, because I feel like a good pair of trousers can go such a long way. And I love replacing a denim look with a pair of trousers because once again, I feel like it is unexpected, especially on the weekends. So trousers with loafers, with oxfords, trousers with socks and loafers, Contrast dressing trousers with sneakers with a pair of Converse with a pair of Air Max. Oh my gosh. Here's what we have to remember y'all. Those pieces that we have squarely in our mind been conditioned to believe are only for work can easily be, be worn on the weekend. It just depends on how you style it. And the same is true the other way around. It just depends on how you style it. I'm inspired to actually do a video on this because I think that a lot of us are getting tripped up with keeping our clothing and our wardrobes separate versus trying to find every single opportunity to mix and match no matter the occasion. You need to be good on any MLK Boulevard, sis, no matter where you pulling up at, okay? And so, trousers, again, sneakers. I'm talking about blazers, sneakers. I'm talking about denim and stilettos. Whatever it is, Feel free to mix and match and definitely ampl amplify your style with contrast dressing. And my fourth tip is all about accessories. Use accessories to instantly enhance your style, y'all. Uh, the Dior beret was a stunner you know in the video as i have already mentioned you all loved it uh the hermes scarf and the way that i wore it in two looks you all loved it the hermes belt you all loved it none of these things have to be luxury for you it's all about what you already have in your closet but what i am saying is we will get so many more miles out of our pieces by enhancing the look with different types of accessories accessories. So for me that definitely includes hats, 100%. It includes brooches, which I think are often left out of the conversation. Brooches are not just for your great grandmama. Girl, you can, you too, can wear a great brooch. Look at what a brooch will do to a bun down shirt. What a brooch will do to a denim to a denim jacket. And don't tell me you don't have a denim jacket in your closet. Don't tell me you don't have a good button down. Throw a brooch on it, okay? Other great accessories, obviously things like scarves. You may be somebody that's really into fun socks as a great accessory, but these are the pieces that I like to call stunt pieces. These are the stunners, okay? That way, if you're someone like me, you can keep the same basics on rotation, but you find a way to give those basics new life with your accessories. So this is a vote in that direction i really really want to see us think more critically about our accessories this is not just about the handbag now if you're watching this channel i believe you already 
got your handbags on lock. If not, you already have an eye towards handbags. That's where I think a lot of us more feminine dressers, the easiest thing for us to do is to get the handbags locked and loaded, right? But I want to challenge us to also think about things like sunglasses, belts, scarves, hats, etc. And then my fifth and last tip for instantly enhancing your style is to refresh the classics. To go for the refreshed piece. And uh, you all loved both here and on IG my white button down shirt, Silk Blend from the ballet. And what stands out about that shirt is that it has the ballet written on the back, much like Varsity Style, or I think Balenciaga has a few shirts like that as well. Y'all loved it, ate it up. Y'all was mad at me because it was sold out, sis. I was upset too um, because I had waited about a year for it and I just got it kind of in the middle of the night, went on her site, saw that she still had a few available for pre-order and I grabbed it and I just knew that she still had some more available. Unfortunately, they're all sold out but keep checking back and if she has a mailing list, I highly recommend you sign up for it. Um, so many of my friends I know and people who I follow online have been able to get the shirt so be patient, friend. It's going to come back. But for the purposes of this video, what I will say is that for me, it is a refreshed classic. It is a classic white button down that the designer has done something interesting to. It is the ballet across the top and the back. It is the material that is made out of. It is because it is sheer. She has taken a white button down that we all know that is classic, that is signature, and she has made it interesting. She has refreshed it. And I think as we are building the foundations of our wardrobe, it is so easy, y'all, to go for the piece that has a bit of a twist on it. My Zara high-waisted pants are a great example of this as well. You know, the fact that they do have the thick belt that came along with them, it makes my waist instantly look snatched. It is a refreshed classic. I also think about the fact that statement denim are trending right now. Wide leg denim are trending right now. Unfinished hems are trending right now. Jeans have been around forever, right? It's not a new wardrobe staple. It's just that they are coming out in more interesting silhouettes. The Margella jeans are a great example here. I think there are a few dupes that have come out recently. But the fact that these jeans are high-waisted, they have almost a balloon shape and a slit on each side, has just done something to my wardrobe, y'all, that I cannot explain. I have to actively talk myself out of wearing those jeans every single day. I really do because I love them that much and the length is fantastic for me. Um, also the a goldie jeans that I got in a partnership with Farfetch are another great example. They have this kind of step waist that I showed you all in the capsule wardrobe video in the dark indigo pockets on the back and you want that dark indigo pocket because it really just gives your butt that little and then the waist comes in and then it just girl coke bottle I'm talking about Buffy the body a la 98 97 okay <laughs> um and so when we are looking for those key basics to include in our wardrobe I definitely highly recommend that we think about ways to refresh those classic pieces to instantly enhance our style and that is it good people thank you so much for watching today's video let me get out of here before the sun completely sets okay but in the meantime please give the video a big thumbs up if you have loved it and let us know down below what is another tip that's really important to know when it comes down to easy ways to enhance your style make sure you're following me over on tiktok and on instagram for daily style and self-care inspiration and i will see you good people cross the internet peace